Okay, in this second video I'm going to show you how to set up Family Browser for the first time. We're going to add some palettes which are groupings of tabs and tabs to the palettes. So to start off we're going to click on Family Browser and it brings up a blank um, dialog box. Um, there's nothing in the top drop down but down in the bottom in options we've got some options of adding palettes or loading an existing palette and deleting. I'm going to add a palette since this is my first time and in this case I'm just going to save it on the C drive and I'm going to call my palette um, just design. I already had one in there called design so I've just actually overwritten it. So now on the top drop down we've got um, one palette design, it's got no tabs on, I'm going to now add a second palette and I'm going to call this one documentation. Once again just saved in the C drive. So I've got design and documentation. Basically what these are are groupings of tabs that we can have. I'm going to go back to the design now I'm going to add a tab. So I go to the options drop down, go add tab. I'm going to go and search on my C drive um, to the default location and this is a problem that we have, uh, you have to drill down so many different um, directories to get what you want for a family. I'm going to click on doors and go OK. It's automatically put doors up here. I can override that by typing something different in there, but I'm going to just accept that. It's gone away, generated the icons, and then populated our tab with door items straight out of, out of the box. Um, families. I'm going to add another tab here just to show you this again. This time I'm going to do Windows. And this all takes quite a lot of time. Once again it's defaulted to Windows, go OK. OK so now I've got doors and windows, just generated those icons. OK, now I'm going to add some tabs to the documentation palette. This time I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to go, instead of add tab, I'm going to go add directory. In this case, it's going to add the directory plus all the subfolders and create new tabs for them. So I'm going to go down to, once again, program data, Autodesk, uh, metric library, annotations, and you'll notice under tags there's subfolders, architectural, civil, general, and structural. I'm just going to select tags, go OK, and then go OK. And what it's done is it's grabbed all the tags in the um, root folder of tags. We've got architectural tags, civil tags, general, and structural tags. So that's a quick and easy way to create a whole lot of tabs at once, um, as long as you've got your folder structures in place the way that you want them. Um, it's easy enough to then delete a tab if we needed to. Um, delete the current tab. Yes, we can do that. Um, if someone um, deletes a family out of that folder, say this one here, this tab, when you switch it and go back to it, will automatically reflect those changes. Um, we can easily flip back to um, different subsets of tabs um, that have been grouped together. The final setup thing I'm going to show you now is actually loading in existing palettes that maybe your BIM manager or CAD manager has pre-set up and then um, saved those to a shared directory on a server. So this time we've still got the design and the documentation tabs that we created before. This time I'm going to go, instead of add a palette, I'm going to load an existing palette. And I'm going to search on to a shared directory on a server. that my BIM manager has created here and there's one here called details components. I'm going to open that and now that is available in my um, family browser as a, a separate palette. So I've still got my de design documentation, now I've got detail components and it's already got those tabs sitting there waiting. So just a matter of selecting one of these items and then inserting it to where you want. So that's a, a quick rundown on the Kiwi Codes family browser for Autodesk Revit. 
hope you find it useful and pass the word around. Thank you.